Billions of pounds are spent every year on technology in schools around the world. But a study by education experts at the OECD has raised doubts about whether it really makes any positive impact on results. There have always been a lot of false hopes related to technology. You know, people think that we can just add technology to what we do in schools and it's going to transform learning environments. Those people are going to be very disappointed with those findings. You can just press tab. Global spending on technology in schools is estimated at $27 billion a year. The OECD found Australia was the biggest user of the internet in lessons, averaging almost an hour a day. But the highest achieving education systems, many of which are in Asia, are the least likely to use the internet in lessons. Pupils in South Korea average less than 10 minutes a day online. Rather than raising results, the report suggests that using too much technology in the classroom could send standards downwards. But in a school like Ardley Green, east of London, technology is part of everyday life in the classroom, and they don't seem keen to throw away their keyboards. It's really good because it makes learning more exciting rather than just a pen and paper and using textbooks. Basically our house is full of computers and Xboxes and all stuff like that, so yeah, my whole life um, pretty much has been around computers. So should schools like this unplug their computers? Is it time to go back to a more traditional way of learning? Pens, papers and blackboard? I would have to fundamentally disagree. Education is about technology. We are actually preparing our children even now for jobs that don't yet exist. We're training them to use technology which hasn't yet been invented. So how can you possibly divorce technology from industry, from teaching and learning? When people say to me too much money is being spent on technology in school, my response, nonsense. But the OECD report warns that technology in the classroom can be a distraction as well as an inspiration. Is there a balance to be struck? I think we've been dazzled by it for a little bit too long. And I think people with budgets who are looking for magic bullet solutions have been focused on it far too much. Technology might be here to stay, but so are arguments about how it should be used in the classroom. Sean Coughlin, BBC News.